We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. to put my <laughs> hoodie on so nothing is wrong with me i'm just always cold around the house right now they are making lego models to go along with book characters which is super cute picked our books for this week um cameron is working on getting comfortable with the database that we're using and notion to track our books which i think someone had asked about that as well what i'm using notion for and it's mostly for keeping records of different things and i'm starting with the um book database and so far so good i'm really hoping that it pans out the way that um i'm looking forward to paying out also doing a little bit of math savannah is watching a generation genius math video in her room we also picked out our writing projects for the next couple of weeks so that's exciting it's gonna go in our newspaper which we have not done and so we're looking forward to doing that what else our book stack Hi, Cam. Because uh, I'm holding it so I can hear it in both ears. Oh, okay. If I'm not holding it, I can hear it in this ear and I can hear you at the same time. I am going to be working on this, sorting through these Lego bricks. Um, normally, we have them in big containers like that one there. We really want to get into doing more with our Lego bricks. So, um, I've been looking into their coding programs if any of you guys have ever used the lego program the coding programs let me know so i'm excited about looking into that i've been doing all the research online and it looks like i'm just gonna have to jump in and see how i can just add pieces to our lego collection to get more and more out of out of our lego life so my mom bought the kids these we have three of them and we have been trying to work our way through sorting our Legos and I don't know the best way to sort them but right now they have been sorting them by color um, let me know how you guys sort your Legos are you a Lego family we are a really big Lego family and I really like how um, they just kind of transition from one stage to another with the kids it's so satisfying to see them look like this right now so <laughs> anyway I'm probably gonna have to redo some of the labels but I don't want to do that until we kind of have a little bit of a better grasp on how we're going to organize them. But first things first, we're just starting by sorting some of the colors. So honestly, y'all, I don't know if I'm the only one that can feel kind of overwhelmed by Lego bricks, but we're just gonna do it brick by brick, friends. Brick by brick. I can convey some of that to you. 
I'm Terence Tao, and this is my masterclass. Me. Mathematical thinking is just an extension of ordinary, ordinary everyday thinking. Important connections between subjects that will obscure it when you first learn the subject. So, uh, one of the key takeaways, uh, well, firstly, mathematical thinking is actually an extension of ordinary everyday thinking. It's not magic. <laughs> hair and chest done at the same time for this chess club tonight. So Savannah and Cameron are getting in a bit of a game. Sharing secrets. for long anyway so i'm getting ready to roast some broccoli string beans to cook for tonight and then tomorrow so that i can be a little bit ahead of the game i'm gonna make some salmon cakes with some um roasted broccoli and string beans and some like alfredo pasta for cameron who does not eat salmon because he has seafood allergy some meatballs and gravy I have a vegan meatball for the camera, and I have some broccoli normandy and some rice thrown in the back, so. Alright, so we're back from the library. It is super rainy, gloomy outside. I don't even know if I said much today, but we had a nice full day in our live and learn world, and I'm grateful for that. Um, dinner is done. The kids are getting ready to head off to chess club in a little bit. I'm gonna unpack these books that Savannah and I grabbed from the library. And now I need to turn off on like the third version of me for the day. Um, I did have a good work day this morning, a great homeschool day. Um, and we talked about all the things, gap year update, all of that other stuff that I'll eventually get around to sharing with you guys. But what else was I gonna say? We're continuing on. Um, sorting through all things Lego and now I am going to try to get in some food and then move on to the next portion of my day which is writing, editing, and um, organizing footage for the film and all of that stuff. The reading and like I said writing and studying and that type of thing. So um, yeah that's it that's what I'm doing. I did place an order for a bigger library bag so I'm super excited about that because this one it's just not cutting it but um i think that a combination of the one i just ordered and this one right here we should be good to go all right let me show you what we got from the library we got flash the little fire engine these a lot of these are for my nephew the reading time that we do with my nephew so that's been super fun for savannah and i so we got flash and then what about x and alphabet adventure Aliens get the sniffles too. Um, this, of course, isn't for him yet, <laughs> but the highest tribute. There are good marshals, life, leadership, and legacy. Um, Clark, the shark afraid of the dark. So that'll be fun to read with him. And then where is our library? She picked good ones. Savannah does the picking, most of the picking, um, when we go and look for books for my nephew. What else, friends? The woman who planted millions of trees. I just love her story. I just think it is so incredibly purposeful and inspiring. Then I got a bunch of books about Lincoln. This one is Lincoln and Douglas, an American friendship. What Lincoln Said by Sarah L. Thomas. Thompson, I'm sorry. I just love <laughs> this. Abe's Honest Words, The Life of Abraham Lincoln. Just so you know, just in case this information might free you like it freed me sometimes i feel like when you find a bunch of stacks of book about books a bunch of books about the same topic you feel like you need to like pull together some kind of unit of study or anything or something for the kids but what really freed me is just knowing that repetition is always like the goal so even though they read these now um it doesn't have to be a whole thing uh, they can read it and get familiar with it and when it's time to come back around and their curiosities pull you towards um, an Abraham Lincoln study that you can go and revisit these again and they would have remembered them and that often 
um, helps them to become favorites of theirs. You know what I mean? Just knowing that they have been exposed to something before and they can recall it. So anyway, um, I got History Smashers, The American Revolution, Brown Girl Dreaming, Jacqueline Woodson. I was looking for a couple more to add to a video that we're going to do about books in verse that we've read. So um, I, I've said this many times before that I'm really enjoying reading books in verse. I think that for me, um, someone who's trying to get or jump back into reading, um, again, this has been really, really helpful for me. She Persisted, Ruby Bridges, um, Vanna Picked Up Wonderland by Barbara O'Connor. Hi. <laughs> the Promise of Change. I think this is also technically in verse. So Savannah has been checking her books out. It's just been what I feel like is super magical. So I was just telling her how when they are off with their own families, I get to think back to the times when we used to head to the library to pick up big sacks of books and just kind of enjoying one another um, in the everyday. So anyway, whoo, y'all, your girl is tired, okay? But I was thinking about what I was talking about earlier with sorting through the Legos that I feel like where I am right now, in order not to get too overwhelmed with all the things that we're trying to like divvy up and put our hands to, um, is just to remind myself that I'm taking it brick by brick, day by day, <laughs> you know, just super grateful for the day and all the ups and downs that it brings one day at a time, brick by brick. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Hopefully I said enough, but I am trying to just get into a rhythm of just filming, editing, and talking to you guys. So you want to come say hi? <laughs> Kid looks like in the background. I don't know if I, this is not really, it's hard for me to keep my arm out. Hi, boo. Hi. <laughs> you just, did you want to come over and talk with me? Kendall's my cuddle bug. Y'all know that. You guys know that. Not a cuddle bear. Kid, well, you're my Kendall bear, but you're a cuddle bug. It's like yeah. figure of speech, a cuddle bug. Okay. You know? Did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember that life is so very full of lessons. Our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. Bye. Bye. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. subscribe.